here I have four different blocks. Uh, they are area amplitude blocks. So what that means is the area of the flat bottom hole, this is the flat bottom drilled hole, this area or the size or the diameter of the hole keeps changing. So you see one, two, three, four blocks. The size of the hole increases from block one to block four. But the height of all the blocks stay the same, right? So they're of the same exact height, right? Exact same height. So the distance that the sound has to travel to hit the hole is equal in all these blocks. But the only thing that changes is the size of the hole. So if you look at the same four blocks, I'm going to show you how the drawing looks like. So the size of the holes keeps on increasing. Now consider that you have the transistor in the first block, okay? The sound travels, hits the flat bottom hole, and this is what the A scan would look like, a tiny signal from the flat bottom hole, and most of the sound would come back on the back surface. Now move the transducer to the second block. How would it change? Think about it. The sound goes to the, back, uh, to the flat bottom hole. This time it's bigger, so the amplitude would be taller, and the back wall would be shorter because more sound gets reflected from the flat bottom hole. So less sound goes to the back surface. Now, what would it be on the third block? You can pause the video and imagine what it would look like. So this time more sound will be reflected back from the flat bottom hole. So the signal would be even taller. And then even lesser sound would go to the back surface. Same thing for the fourth one. Maximum sound will be reflected from, from the flat bottom hole, so it would be the tallest peak, and then the back wall would be the shortest. Does that make sense? So let's see how that shows up on the screen. So I'm going to place these four blocks, smallest hole and the biggest, largest hole over here. Okay, so what you see on the screen is uh, a back wall. This is the back wall, and this is the flat bottom hole. Now, since they're at the same depth from the top surface, they're going to be at the same distance from your zero, right? This is a zero. So the holes are going to pop up at the same distance. The back wall is going to be at the same distance, but the amplitudes are going to change. So watch this. When I move from first one to the second one, in the second one, the, the height of the hole increase, whereas the back wall dropped down from 80% down to like 60%. Now I'm going to move it from the second block to the third block. Now in this block, you see the whole amplitude actually went to about 80%, whereas the back wall dropped to 40%. And when I move it to the last block, you can see the whole size went beyond 100%, whereas the back wall has dropped to almost 20%. That's number one. That's number two. That's number three. And that's number four. Perfect.